I start my uh, presentation on Judaization of uh, Jerusalem under the Israeli occupation, focused on um, measures and developments. Here are the contents, uh, starting with an introduction. Um, in the introduction, I introduced some of the uh, previous uh, literature and defined the terms. Uh, so in this research, the term Judaization will be used to express the meaning uh, of applying measures to impose the uh, Jewish uh, identity to be the dominant identity of the city, changing its uh, demographic and cultural uh, structure. Um, the historical background um, in this part, I tried to trace the Jewish elements in Jerusalem through history. Uh, so, um, in this part, we can see that um, uh, Jerusalem was the capital of the kingdom of Judah uh, centuries before Christ. And then, in the Roman period, Jews faced uh, persecution. Uh, so, the Jewish presence um, disappeared in Jerusalem for a long time. And then, this was also um, confirmed uh, after uh, the Roman emperor um, adopted the Christianization, um, uh, adopted Christianity, uh, so he adopted Christianization of Jerusalem. So for a long time, the Jewish uh, presence was absent. Then uh, the Islamization process also took place since the um, Arab conquest of Jerusalem. Uh, but in, under the Muslim rule, the uh, Jewish presence again, um, again appeared uh, as uh, Muslims welcomed the, uh, the Jewish uh, population to, uh, to again um, live in Jerusalem. Uh, we can see that uh, the Judaization process uh, uh, took place especially uh, from the um, British rule, under the British rule. Uh, this can be seen when we see that Herbert Samuel, uh, he was um, a pro-Zionist figure. Uh, he, is, he was appointed as the first high commissioner of Palestine. Um, uh, so he adopted uh, or facilitated Judaization of Jerusalem through many measures as he, uh, support, uh, he um, uh, supported the uh, Jewish immigration, um, uh, the Jewish acquisitions of um, lands and other legalization for Jewish uh, settlement in uh, Jerusalem. Uh, so here is the main part of my research uh, uh, about the Judaization of Jerusalem. Uh, since the uh, Israeli occupation. So starting with the West Jerusalem, uh, in 1948, um, the proclamation of the state of is uh, Israel in the Palestinian uh, lands resulted in uh, the conflict, the military conflict between Arabs and Israel. So um, 1948 war resulted in uh, the occupation of um, uh, West Jerusalem by Israel. So as you see from this map, uh, this um, is the de facto division of uh, Jerusalem um, after uh, the 1948 war. Uh, as you see, the whole West part of uh, Jerusalem is under the Israeli occupation while the eastern part is under the Jordanian uh, control. Uh, the intensive Judaization measures in West Jerusalem started from uh, then. Uh, so we can see it through many measurements, uh, starting with the evacuating uh, West Jerusalem of the non-Jewish uh, citizens through the violent expulsion of Arabs due to war uh, status resulted in the change of the demographic structure of West Jerusalem to be dominant by Jews. Uh, the settlement of the Israeli uh, officials and uh, Jewish immigrants in the houses and the properties of those Arabs who fled their homes, this was another um, phase of uh, Judaization 
Judaization. Um, so um, if we uh, compare between before and after 1948, in 1947, the um, number of um, uh, Palestinians, Arab Palestinians uh, living in uh, Jerusalem was about 28,000, uh, possessing about 34% uh, of the uh, lands of West Jerusalem. But after uh, the war uh, and by the end of um, 1949, all those Arab neighborhoods were replaced by Jews uh, of Israel. Uh, also, um, the uh, Israeli laws was applied in West Jerusalem, facilitating this uh, Judaization. So we can see uh, that um, an example, um, the absentee law uh, of 1950, this law provides that the properties of the Palestinians who left Jerusalem in 1948 were uh, transferred to the state of Israel. Uh, also, the uh, Israeli authorities encouraged the uh, Jewish uh, immigration and facilitate the acquirement of Israeli citizenship uh, while denying the same right to the Palestinians who were residents in those lands before 1948. Um, another measurement that we can see is uh, her prizing the names of the Palestinian sites as the Israeli government planned to confirm the Jewish identity of Jerusalem by naming its places with Jewish names. So for this uh, purpose, a committee for the designation of the place names has been formed in 1948, and we can see the impact of this um, uh, committee by 1953, about 560 names uh, of Palestinian sites were Judaized with Hebrew names in a state of their original Arabic names. Um, then now we uh, will um, move to the East uh, Jerusalem. Uh, in 1967, uh, due to the war, uh, Israel uh, expanded its um, uh, control to uh, occupy the eastern part also of Jerusalem, uh, claiming or um, announcing the uh, reunification of Jerusalem under the uh, Israeli occupation. So since then, we can notice also, we can follow the Judaization um, measures in the eastern part, seeing that uh, many laws uh, were issued by Israel to confirm its uh, sovereignty over Jerusalem and, it, um, and to implement the Judaization process. Um, uh, we can see that uh, in 1980, uh, the basic law issued uh, stated that the complete and united Jerusalem is the capital of Israel and that Jerusalem is the seat of the Israeli president and the Knesset, uh, Knesset uh, the Israeli government and the Supreme Court. And according to that law, Jerusalem with its uh, expanded bounder boundaries uh, stated on um, 1967 is promised to be granted the special priorities in the activities of the Israeli authorities for uh, developing uh, the city. Uh, so since then, uh, Palestinians were excluded from Jer Jerusalem's uh, citizenship. And um, we can see that uh, through uh, many laws and they um, were considered the foreign immigrants in their home city since uh, 1967. Um, so uh, starting with the first uh, census uh, um, took place in the East uh, Jerusalem, many Palestinians were excluded as many uh, of them uh, were absent on that census. Uh, and uh, Israel declared that they lost their um, right to return to their uh, home city. Uh, 
um, and even those Palestinians who uh, participated in that census were registered with a legal status, uh, same as uh, that given to foreign residents in Israel called the permanent residents. Uh, so, um, the permanent residency of more than uh, even uh, this um, uh, permanent residency was revoked uh, many times. Um, so, since 1967, about 14,500 uh, people lost uh, even this status uh, from uh, among the Palestinians. Um, and uh, is Israel, uh, similar to what happened in the West uh, Jerusalem, also in the East Jerusalem, uh, the measures of uh, Judaization um, uh, included establishing new uh, Jewish settlements, uh, which expanded the boundaries of Jerusalem, annexing more lands with Jewish residents to facilitate maintaining the uh, Jewish uh, majority. Also, Israel uh, used the urbanization plans to preserve the Jewish majority. Among those plans, uh, the master plan 2000 was um, uh, to um, was declared uh, saying that there will be intervention tools to preserve the uh, Jewish majority in the city. Uh, those tools included building new settlements for Jews, and hundreds of Jew uh, Jewish settlers were encouraged by the Israeli authorities to replace uh, pal Palestinian uh, uh, Jerusalemites in the midst of Arab neighborhood, creating Jewish settlement buckets in the middle of those Arab neighborhoods. Uh, also, um, Israel uh, continued demolishing uh, the Arab neighborhoods. Um, I guess many of us heard about Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood uh, and the crisis that they face uh, uh, demolishing um, their houses by the Israeli authorities. Uh, so um, this continued till the present and uh, also uh, building barriers separating the Arab neighborhood inside East Jerusalem. This uh, also one of the Judaization uh, measures as this uh, separation barriers uh, covering an um, uh, uh, area about 202 kilo, uh, kilometer. This uh, isolate the Palestinians inside East Jerusalem while uh, enable the expansion of the city on lands with more Jews to confirm the Jewish majority. Um, another measures uh, were, were taken against the non-Jewish holy sites. A vivid example can be seen in the Al-Aqsa Mosque uh, as um, Israel started the excavations under the, uh, this Islamic whole, holy city uh, right after the 1967 war, which threatened this um, site, um, uh, its uh, foundation, and uh, man also uh, many uh, attacks and um, uh, where by Israel, uh, Israeli officials and uh, Jewish extremists, uh, including several massacres against Muslims praying in the mosque happened uh, during uh, all this time till the present actually. Uh, actually this um, uh, Judaization uh, uh, co uh, constructional uh, projects uh, target also not, not just the Muslims, also the Christian uh, properties uh, in this context, we can mention uh, the plan announced by the Israeli authorities for uh, constructing a national park on Christian holy sites uh, located in the Mountain of Olives, which led to uh, churches uh, protests uh, resulting in suspending this project at present. And many Christian Palestinians, like other Palestinian Jerusalemites, lost their souls 
freedom and homes defending their lands. Uh, the Israeli op uh, oppression against uh, them includes restrictions on the number of uh, worshippers permitted for attending religious celebrations in their churches, which also is uh, facing several attacks by Jewish extremists. Um, uh, Judaization also through education can be uh, traced um, as uh, Jewish ideas penetrate to prove the Jewish identity of Jerusalem through the educational system controlled by the Israeli authority as uh, the Israeli authorities imposed certain educational uh, cu uh, curriculums on the uh, Palestinian pr uh, primary schools uh, since 1968. Um, uh, an example of the Judaization performance through the process can be seen in replacing the word the word uh, Palestine uh, with uh, Israel and the Arabic name of uh, Jerusalem Al Quds with the Jewish name Orshali. Uh, also. Uh, her prizing the names of places like uh, what uh, was adopted in the Western uh, region also took place in the Eastern uh, Jerusalem. Uh, then uh, in this part, I'm trying to analyze the um, developments and impacts of the Judaization uh, measures. We can um, we can uh, trace it through um, examining the distribution of uh, Jerusalem's uh, population, uh, seeing if um, the uh, Jewish majority is um, adopted all the time or, or not, as this was the target, the main target of the Judaization to preserve the Jewish majority. So since 1980 till 2020, uh, through this chart, you can see that, yes, um, Israel achieved this goal of uh, preserving the uh, Jewish majority. As you see, uh, starting from 1980, uh, the Jews uh, percentage was 74%, again, it's 26% of Arabs. And uh, uh, till two 2020, the um, Jews are still uh, majority, but uh, with less number. It's six, uh, 61 percent against 39 percent of uh, the Arabs. Uh, so this shows that the there is a um, uh, lower rate of growth of the Jewish population compared with the higher fertility of the Arab population. Uh, this uh, proves that uh, the persistence of Israel in Judaizing uh, is, uh, Jerusalem, uh, preserving this majority, despite the higher uh, grow, growth rate of the Arab population, but this also uh, proves the struggle, the resistance of the Arabs uh, to preserve or also their part their, um, uh, in their city. Uh, another chart, uh, through this chart, we can see the, uh, demolish, uh, the demolishing of houses, how far it took place in uh, the last uh, twin, uh, 10 years. So from 2012 till 2022, uh, we can see that the number of, the total number of houses, about 530 houses were demolished. Uh, evicting 1,289 uh, people, Palestinians, all Palestinians. So this also proved the um, persisting of Israel to continue this, um, or to uh, even it was ex accelerated. If we see like uh, in 2019, the number of, of the um, demolished house and the evicted people was, um, was the higher the evicted people were uh, 189 by that uh, year uh, and the statistics registered by the Israeli Information Center for Human Rights showed a total number of 916 houses demolished by the uh, Israeli authority from 2004 till uh, 2022. 
uh, which uh, affected 2,707 people. Uh, another uh, impact we can see on the educational sector uh, as um, uh, 3,500 Jerusalem students were learning the Israeli curriculum in uh, 2016 uh, with an increase of 2,000 students since 2012. And from 2014 till 2020, new 32 Israeli schools were established in the East Jerusalem. So the Judaization target can be seen clearly in the content of the Israeli curriculum confirming the Jewish identity and the rights of uh, Jews um, returning to live in their holy lands. Uh, in uh, tw 2022, so this year, it was um, reported that 51% uh, uh, of the official schools in East Jerusalem are currently teaching the uh, Israeli curriculum with an increase of 34% over the last four years. So this all shows the persistence of Israel to continue the Judaization measurements. But uh, in, on the other hand, it shows also, also the strong resistance of the Palestinians who uh, also still uh, struggle to uh, preserve their educations, to preserve their homes, as still about 49% of, uh, uh, of the schools in uh, Jerusalem are uh, persisting to the Palestinian uh, educational curriculum. So the conclusion, uh, we can say that Israel determined on um, uh, Judaization, obviously, uh, since the declaration of the Jewish state until the present. Um, this is understandable in light of the uh, significance of Jerusalem for both Jews and Arabs conflicting on this region and both um, uh, aim to establish their capital on this holy city. Uh, in this study, we uh, introduced the, um, or tried to trace the measures of Judaization uh, adopted by Israel since 1948 till the present, uh, which showed uh, a strong resistance and acceleration and, and intensifying for the measures uh, uh, um, uh, by the um, nowadays at the present. And despite all those intensified measures, the main target of the Judaization of preserving Jewish majority in Jerusalem, even though it was achieved so to somehow to some extent, but the uh, statistics showed an increasing number of Arab Jerusalemites, uh, decreasing the gap between the uh, numbers of Arabs and Jews of Jerusalem. Uh, this proves the strong resistance of Arab Jerusalem to resist the uh, Judaization of their lands. Uh, their struggle also succeeded in maintaining their culture through education, seeing the continuity of, of the Palestinian curriculum in many Jerusalem schools, uh, refusing to adapt the Israeli curriculum at the present. Uh, our study also highlighted our, uh, other efforts of um, imposing the Jewish uh, identity, including archaeological and uh, constructional uh, projects threatening the Islamic and Christian holy uh, sites. Uh, yet also those holy sites are resisting and still standing in Jerusalem to prove its uh, cultural uh, diversity. Uh, it was hard to cover all the uh, details of those projects um, in one paper. So hopefully future research is to continue to follow up those measurements uh, and to, uh, to uh, trace us other uh, Judaization to, to see the development of the Judaization for the future. So here is the end of my presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.